Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution, everybody. So in the last episode, we began with a couple things here. The Duelist Kingdom, the Heart of the Cards, and the Ultimate Great Moth. And in this episode, I'm going to be taking on the Harpy Lady. Let's see. Yuki wasn't the only duelist who was motivated to win the tournament for a loved one. Despite being a novice duelist, Joey had his own reasons for wanting to win. His sister Serenity. Alright, so yeah, now we're going to uh, go ahead and take control of Joey over here. We're going to use his shitty cards. This meditative moment was rudely broken when Joey and his friends heard someone laughing and taunting another duelist a short distance away. To my, huh? The team met my Valentine on the boat to Duelist Kingdom. She was a manipulative, self-absorbed duelist who had the uncanny ability to always know what card she would draw next. Basically, like, freaking, I don't know. Like, well, I was going to say, like, Yugi, but not really. He doesn't really know. He he hopes, but it happens. That's a different thing. Hmm. Alright. Story deck as always. Target one Mage Spectre card in your Pendulum Zone. Special summon it. That's Mage Spectre Gust. Alright. Ooh, I win. I'm gonna go first. Even though I feel like... Like, okay, going first has advantages, yes. But only in, like, modern dueling with cards that can benefit so many extended plays, right? With older dueling like these decks, isn't it kind of disadvantageous to go first nowadays because you don't draw that card? I feel like that's the case. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna start with terraforming, obviously. Deck thinning. Let's just grab another useless copy of Gaia Power because I already have one. I'm gonna summon <clears throat> Battle Locks. And I'm going to activate Gaia Power. That'll put me at 2200. Alright. Defense mode, alright. Hmm. What could that be? What could that be? Tiger Ox. Tiger Ox? Alright, let's go ahead and. Well, no, no, I didn't. Shit. I don't. No. I didn't mean to. Well, I have to set it. I accidentally pressed. Oh my god, you can't take that back. Okay, it's good to know right now, though, about that. Alright, so I'm summoning Kajikosi. Kajikoki, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. Oh, threatening roar. I see, I see. Alright. Good move, good move. I mean, you can only stall out for so long. I'm gonna attack you eventually, right? Doing another defense mode. Okay, well, I'm gonna summon my third monster. Gonna be Tigrex, probably. That's what I draw. What is this? Fusion Conscription. Reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck. And add one of the fusion materials whose name is specifically listed on that card from a deck or graveyard to your hand. And if you do, for the rest of this turn after this card resolves, you cannot normal summon slash set or special summon monsters with the added monster's name. Also, your monsters with that name cannot activate their effects for the turn, right? You can only... okay. So basically, if I use it, I, I can add one material, but I can't... Okay, so who would, be, who would be the best one? Baby Dragon? Or should I get Time Wizard? I mean, I, they're all pretty shitty, to be honest, but... I mean, I might as well. It's not like I'm gonna summon the Baby Dragon anyway. I'll take... Oh, crap, I don't know. Baby Dragon or Time Wizard? I'll take Time Wizard. That might be useful, I don't know. Okay, so I can't I can't summon Time Wizard or use the effect this turn. That's fine, because I wasn't planning on summoning it anyway. Alright, enter battle phase. Um, let's... Yeah, I'll attack with you, sure. Harpy girl. Okay, I don't want to get... Yeah, I don't want to get too greedy. Well, I should have attacked. Oh, well. There we go. And the turn. This guy power is coming in clutch here. Sort of. Okay, just more defending, huh? Ooh, another face down. What could that be? Could that be another threatening roar? It could actually be a mirror wall, too. Nope, it's an Icarus attack. That's not horrible because you are going to lose your card. Oh, you got rid of... 
Okay. I thought you were going to get rid of two of my monsters, but you didn't. It was Harpy Channeler, by the way. Okay. One of the more useful Harpy cards, technically. Alright, um, I think I still won regardless. It's, actually, no, I haven't won yet. Shit. I'm going to do that. I'm also going to activate Fusion Sage. Thin out that deck a little bit, you know? Let's get a Polymerization going, yes. So basically, 42... Yeah, I actually didn't win this turn already. Because if I just use Monster Reborn, to bring back the strongest card is going to be Battle Locks, obviously. 22 plus 18, that's 4,000, plus uh, 2,000, that's actually 6,000. So with the help of Time Wizard, I actually end up winning this duel this turn. Because that is exactly... Well, not exactly, it's a little bit above how much damage I need to do in order to end up winning this turn. Exactly 300 life points over. Yeah. That's it. Man. So I win. Yeah, so my loss to an amateur, apparently. Cool. That's what I got here. Damn. Uh, reverse duel, new avatar, new deck recipe, signature card, new card, new card, and then dual points. Cool. Next up is Attack from the Deep. Also, how many of these are there? Oh my god. That's crazy. Alright, let's do Attack from the Deep. The truth and power of the Millennium Puzzle was beginning to dawn on Yugi. During his duels, the puzzle infused Yugi with the power and soul of an ancient spirit. Though this was a major issue to ponder, there was a smaller but no less important matter to deal with first. Food? Seriously? I mean, it does make sense, right? They followed the center of the beach where they spotted a campfire with several roasting fish in the distance. <laughs> Joey ran down to the campfire. Okay. Tristan ran after Joey. It wasn't long before Yugi and Tay joined him as well. Joey grabbed one of the fish from the fire. Just as the team began to bite into the fish, a young man emerged from the ocean with a spear in his hand. Oh, look at that. It's a Mako Tsunami. Top ranked ocean duelist. Hmm. The team sat down at the fire and shared a meal with Mako. After the feast, the team thanked Mako and started to head out when Mako threw his spear at the ground in front of him. Oh. Okay. Hmm. And look at that. It's Yami Yugi again. Alright, story deck. A man with... Oh my god, it's that stupid card. A man with Wajot. I don't know how to pronounce that actually, but I... God. Ooh, I lost that one. Who's going first? You are going first. Okay, so I'm going second. Let's see, what's going to be your move here? Defense mode, set, alright, set and set. I shall draw. Golden Sentry, interesting there. Um, dang, I'm going to just go ahead and set this thing. Actually, I should have just said Golden Sentry, I'm so stupid. Alright, I'm going to use Wasteland. And a turn. Yeah, I should have said Golden Sentry, that was my bad. Actually, wait, maybe not. Well, no, I should have still. Kairu Shin. You attributed Fiend Kraken for that, okay. That thing is still far too powerful for me, though. Hmm. I'm gonna have to just set Golem Sun. Ooh, Burning Land. Are you freaking kidding me? When this card is activated, if there are any field spell cards in the field, destroy them. During each player's standby phase, that turn player takes five. Oh my god. I don't want to destroy it though, I need that defense boost. I really do. Hmm. I mean, if you play one, I'll gladly activate the card, sure. Okay. Oh no, it's when it's flipped. What the fuck is going on? The legendary fisherman. 
Okay, I'm kind of in the problem here, but, um, because... Oh, man. I could also just tribute summon if I really wanted to do that shit, you know? Once per turn, you can change this card to face in defense position. Okay. So if I tribute summon this... I could do that, yes. I'm gonna summon you. Curse of Dragon. Oh, that was bad. Well, that's fine. I got Monster Reborn. <laughs> it's cool. But still, I mean, I did get rid of my Golden Century as well, which I really kind of wanted. Legendary Fisherman. I kind of want to bring that one out because... Well, at least I feel this card isn't affected by spell effects and cannot be targeted for attacks. But does not... I think it should be fine, right? It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. All right, Curse of Dragon. Do your worst. Should I activate Burning Land? You know what? Oh shoot! I have to go into main phase too. My bad. Do each player's stamina is a turn player takes five. Yeah, because your life points are lower. So by this point, it's kind of stalling out as well. It does suck that I have to get rid of my Wasteland, but you know what? It's fine. And also, you're taking the damage first, so... Take that 500 damage, that's right. Okay, just don't do anything crazy, please. Okay, that seems fine, then I'll take 500 in my turn. Polymerization. I'm gonna summon Celtic Guardian. Okay, no need to, take, no need to get too greedy right now, I'm just gonna attack with Curse of Dragon. Well, that was... Oh my god. Are you serious? Alright, fine. You and your 2,000 defense. Well, that's fine. I just gotta stall you out then, right? I'll be gonna tribute someone and kill my Celtic Guardian, probably. That's not good. What are you doing? Nope, another defense mode. Okay. Guy the Fierce. Oh! Look at that beauty. What do I have here? Guy the Dragon Champion. Right, time for polymerization. Here we go. Polymerization. Bring out Guy the Dragon Champion. Send those two to the graveyard. To fusion summon Gaia the Dragon Champion. Do you get an animation effect? Do you? Apparently you don't. Oh my god, that's right, it has to go in here. I choose this one. Sorry, I like I'm never used to seeing this. Like I always obviously th these are extra monster zones, but a lot of people just honestly forget about that and they think that they're just like Link monster zones when they're clearly not. It's just that everybody obviously plays links on there, you know, and that's it. But man, it's just things that you forget. Oh, you stupid. Are you kidding me? You mean your fucking jellyfish? Okay. Whatever, that's fine. I mean, your life points are dwindling slowly but surely. You're taking 500 per turn, and it seems like I'm gonna be able to penetrate you this turn here. Let's see. Their defense mode. Maybe not, actually, because, I mean, if you just play... Celtic Guardian's attack is not very respectable, obviously. Ooh, that's a clutch draw right there. Okay. Pot of Greed. Here we go. Give me give me two cards. What the fuck kind of bullshit is this? Alright. Let's summon Beaver Warrior. Sure. Let's see if I can get an attack and then land it, you know? I'm gonna attack Jellyfish. And then Celtic Guardian can attack that thing. Oh my god. Seriously, why can I not penetrate this guy's defenses, man? This is crazy. I can't do shit. I can't do shit to this guy. This sucks. All right, burning land. Keep killing him. He keeps he keeps playing high defenders every damn turn. Okay, is that another freaking island? No, let me get this an Aquamador this time, probably. Destroy Golem. Well, that's a stronger card than Celtic Guardian. Might as well summon it. Here we go. Hopefully these freaking attacks land. Alright, let's gonna destroy Island Turtle. Attack with destroy Golem. Are you fucking kidding me? This is so stupid. This duel is so Ugh! Oh, this this duel is disgusting. It's gross. I feel gross right now because this duel is so bad. What are you doing? Oh my god, this guy was just Okay. Surely it can't have more than 2,600 defense, right? Well... 
I suppose I can go for another tribute summon. Here, get rid of Beaver Warrior. Summon Curse of Dragon. Alright, that's your battle phase. I'm going to attack with you, let's see what you got. It's probably a Neo. Okay. I actually was thinking it was going to be a Neo Aquamador that has 3,000 defense, but it wasn't. Okay. Which means that is game right there. Wow, that duel sucked. <laughs> that duel sucked. But it's probably really entertaining for all of you because it's actually like, you know, because we're both using shitty decks, it like makes it more like interesting for all of you, you know? Probably, I don't know. Look at all these unlocks. Nice. New Cardboard Mystical Space Typhoon. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff there. All right. Next up is the Dino Duelist. My Valentine sat on the hill, having a quiet moment to herself. Oh man. Joey. Hmm. At that moment, Rex Raptor, who my duel and defeated on the way to Duelist Kingdom, jumped out and surprised her. So now we're gonna duel Rex as Joey, huh? Hmm. My held up her bracelet to show off her star chips. She has eight already? Hmm. <laughs> to Joey? Yeah. My and Rex searched for Yui and his friends in hopes of finding Joey. It wasn't long before they did. Okay. Alright, so Rex is dueling. Rex plays se Yeah, I mean, he did, but then Weevil plays first and he got bombarded by Yugi in the first duel and he got eliminated. So, you know what? It's cool, it's cool. It's fine. Time to duel. Alright, another one of these. Story duels, yes. Metaphist Ragnarok. It's a worm tuner. Alright, let's see. Ooh, okay. You. Oh, wait, no, I'm. Okay, I'm gonna go second. I'm gonna give this a shot here. I, I seriously feel like if if you're playing new rules with old decks, isn't it advantageous to go second? Because like, if you go first, you don't draw that card, and you can't you you don't have good a uh, good hand to like make plays and shit. You know, obviously if you play a deck that's you know a newer one, then yeah, it's a lot easier. But I don't know. Oh shit, this is not a good starting hand though. This is really bad. Am I gonna am I gonna have my first loss? Ooh, this is really bad. I mean And with this hand actually it would have been more helpful to go first, I just realized. Because I could have trapped hold that thing and then tribute for next turn. But now I can't. I mean I can set the I guess what I can hope for is the fact that you maybe tribute summon? If you tribute someone, not all is lost. Um, but if you don't, if you just summon another monster, ooh, that's gonna be a really bad situation for me. I might actually lose. Cause I don't have much work, work left in my hand here. Ooh, no, that's bad. That is bad. I can trap hole you, but. Oh crap, this is bad, this is bad. I need you to draw a monster. I need you to draw a pretty... Are you fucking kidding me? Seriously? Oh no. How do I restart the duel? <laughs> There's no way I can make a comeback with this. I, I can't... Unless I draw like a monster reborn, that might help too. Because then I can just tribute something for a rude kaiser or some shit, you know? We'll have to see what I draw here. Let's see. Soul exchange. That actually works really well. So it seems like they're helping you. Hmm. Target one monster, bunny controls. Okay, so I'm gonna... Activate Soul Exchange. I'm going to target that thing. Then I'm going to go ahead and summon. By tributing that thing. Summon Rude Kaiser. And then I got to end the turn because I cannot enter my battle phase. The turn I activate Soul Exchange. Maybe I should have summoned Lava Battle Guard though. I don't know. Because like if I draw Swan Battle Guard as well. They're both powerful cards. Oh, another one of these. Well. Oh, you. God dang it. Well, fine. Whatever. Mm. 
What? Okay. What the hell, man? Am I really gonna fall for this? What is this guy? He literally put his card in the tack. What? Oh my god, am I overthinking this? Shit. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna enter the battle phase. Let's see if it's a threatening roar. It's not. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god. This is, this is the dumbest thing I'd ever do. I know you have a trap card that's gonna demolish me. Yep. Oh, that's. Well, we're tied. It's not the end of the world here because I can just. Okay. Sort of need that. So, I mean, something obviously happened. You don't just change a monster like that into attack mode. Now, I have to hope that you actually survive this, baby dragon, because if you don't. Oh, I'm gonna be in the bad situation again. No. No. Yes! Thank you. Oh my god, that's amazing. Axe Raider? Oh, hell yeah. Well, I guess. But should I tribute, though? I kinda wanna get rid of that monster there. No. You know what? Okay, let's just let's just go for some damage here, alright? I mean what's funny is that this guy literally has more attack than Lava Battle Guard, yeah. He's a level four monster. Like, what the hell is up with this shit? Seriously. Okay, and that minus 19 more, okay. Alright, let's see if I can win next turn. I'm hoping I can. But it probably won't happen. Actually. Damn. Soul exchange? Well, no, it still won't happen, sadly, because it's not enough damage. 19 plus 17, 50 is not enough. It's very close, but it's not enough. Unfortunately, that'll put you at 1950. Yeah, oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? 50 life points? Are you serious? Also, this guy has literally not played anything ever since it's Trachodon. Like, have you noticed that? God, you go see him. All right. Um, yeah, might as well summon it. And then enter battle phase. Uh, hopefully, I have enough damage here. Yes, Gilosaurus. You didn't special summon that thing? Seriously? I feel like you probably had something in your hand that was a tribute monster, right? Alright, got more stuff here. Oh, look at that. Okay. See the red eyes terraforming. Evil Spirit of the Ring. Later that night, the team settled down for dinner when they were visited by their high school friend, Bakura. As they chatted around the campfire, the conversation soon, soon turned to dueling. Not for stars, just for a little fun? Okay. So just a duel for fun, huh? It's a Millennium item. That's actually a Millennium Ring, and oh my god, it's Yami Bakura now. Now we're in the Shadow Realm or something? Bakura, possessed by some unknown spirit, used the power of his Millennium Ring to lock away his friend's souls. Ooh. Just as Bakura tried to grab the Millennium Puzzle, it started to glow. The spirit within the puzzle awoke, manifesting himself into Yugi. Okay. Here we go. It's going to be a shadow game. Yellow-bellied Oni. When you actually summon a monster, you can special- Oh my god, the loading, is, the loading is so fast that I'm just questioning why they even put cards like that in the- Oh, I should- Actually, it's fine. I'm just questioning why they even do that, you know? <laughs> like, what the heck? I don't know. I don't know, man. Alright, let's see here. Okay, I actually have some pretty shitty cards. This we all face up rock-type monsters? What? Okay, well, I'm gonna set this, I guess, strongest card I have for now. What the hell is this duel, man? We all have really shitty cards. This is not good. I hope you have bad cards, too. What is this? What is this? Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh no. This is horrible. How am I going to beat this Yami Bakura? I have no idea. Well, I mean... I guess I can use this. Breath of Light to destroy a Minamushi Warrior. I'm also going to summon Skull Stalker. Do I even dare? 
I'm probably using way too many resources way too fast here, but um, I'm just gonna go for it. And if I get killed, then I get killed, you know? There's nothing I can do about that. Whatever. Alright, I'll attack with Ninamushi Warrior. Okay, that actually land, but I'm probably gonna get bombarded next turn with some powerful stuff. We'll see what happens. Oh man. This is scary. This is real scary. What are you doing? Defense mode. Okay. The question is, will I have enough firepower on my side of the field? Actually, yes. Alright, summon skull. Here we go. Do your... do your... oh my god. This card is always treated as an Archfiend card. Yes. It's Archfiend Skull of Lightning, something like that. Aha, that was a good clutch draw for me. I'm telling you, man, this... me being Yugi... Man, I get this amazing power that I wish I had in the World Championship games that I play for the DS. That would be amazing, right? Clutch draws. But no, I don't, because I'm not Yugi. In other games. Another defense mode, okay. I guess I can summon my happy lover now. Or, no, actually, that's all I can do, yes. Alright, happy lover time, get over here. Just to, oh shit, okay, well. That's not, that's not horrible, that's fine. Alright, summon skull. Ooh, white magical, god damn it, I could have actually done a lot of damage just if I attack with happy lover. I could have done 3,800 damage, but now, I can't. Okay, 2,400 life points. So one more attack by Summon Skull directly and I win the duel. Hopefully you don't set a monster. Well, you summon Stone Ghost. Okay. <laughs> wow, Robin Goblin, huh? Polymerization, polymerization. Yes! That way I can just Lightning Vortex you next turn if you don't set something. Yes, alright, that, that's a victory right there. I mean, it's regardless, it's a big three. I don't have to use this, but just for fun, right? All right, enter battle phase. There we go. That's it. With the destruction of the evil spirit's last card, Bakura was freed from the grip of the evil spirit. Hmm. So, Bakura's dad picked it up in some bizarre thing, okay. Sounds shady as fuck, but okay. Hmm. Damn. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Next one is Panic Attack, but I'm actually gonna take a quick break here. Uh, campaign is only 1.8% complete. Series 11.1% .1 complete. Jesus Christ. This is gonna be some long, long stuff here. Um, but now there's other things like Duelist Challenges and Tutorial, like if I go here, select series, you can basically, I think it's just, wait, I've only unlocked that? Seriously? I'm so confused. Haven't I unlocked more Duelists? Oh, so I have to defeat more of them. There's Tutorial, there's also Battle Pack and Card Shop that I unlock, so play using a temporary deck made from Battle Packs. Sealed Play, Draft Play. Draft 45 cards in 3 rounds of pack opening. Your deck is made instantly from 10 5 card battle packs. Or, card shop, where I can spend my points on these. It actually tells you how many cards you have from this pack, I believe. It's like from this era, I suppose. The hell? Okay. Hmm. Grandpa Moto, My Valentine, and Bakura. So that's three booster packs unlocked. And there's obviously more and more, and you can just go along on the way. And that's just about it for now. Um, I'm kind of finishing this one up a little close, but yeah, just so you can kind of see. So in the next episode, we are going to take a uh, look into Panic Attack. It's going to be Yugi against Panic, and we're just going to make our way through. It's obviously a long campaign, as you can see. But some of these are actually... Like, I can totally just predict it's ahead of time, right? Like, that's gonna be Bones. They skipped the whole Paradox Duel, that, you know, that's gonna be... Okay. So, Duelist Kingdom actually goes until... Here? I believe? 
yeah, until here. So everything from here is after Duelist Kingdom, basically like rare hunters and stuff, and then you just kind of go from there until I believe it's going to be darts and stuff like that. Yeah, that'll be cool. All right, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.